Welcome to Empire by this Rampant and welcome back to my Teutonic Order campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 Mar for Total War. We're going to continue with the fifth from last time, where at this point in time, we have all my forces back. We're just about in position for our war with Bulgaria. We're at this point in time right now. Uh, I'm going to be trying to take these three territories, and this one as well from their allies, and basically... We're going to try and see how this goes. Because for the most part right now, we are actually very close to finishing up our this campaign. Uh, we already started for trying to figure out who we're going to be playing next. I know the main thing that's going to be a, probably an issue is like mainly this bit and this bit. Because like us maintaining the territories, that's not big of an issue. We've researched enough technologies. We don't have enough troops, actually, which is interesting. Um, and we have to get, actually save up 500k. Um, Jesus, I forgot about that part. And have an income of at least 50,000. Hey, at least though... The longer this campaign goes on and the better uh, my trade partners become, the more I'll be able to make from that. Like, we already make 20k a turn right now, which is actually pretty good. But basically right now what we're going to be doing is I am going to be starting the war with you guys today. Um, I basically think I'm going to wait. Well, actually, no, because I want to try and have this. So, like, you're going to, like, get over here. I want you to be able to, like, try and strike at this territory. Because basically my hope is I'm actually wanting them to keep all these troops around here. Because if they try and attack this city with this army in here, I think I'll actually do really well. So I don't think I'm going to have to worry about you. It's mainly uh, you guys over here need to be able to go and hit this territory. So I'll have to adjust to you guys at a bit in a bit. Um, I want to try and at least make sure you guys have defenses around here. At least. And then I can maybe get something else around there. I know this army up here, you guys, it's going to take a while to convert this area. Which you, I think we can... Let's see. It's doing okay. Let's see who you guys for food right now. If I upgrade this and this, that will actually help out a little bit. I think you have to stay here for a little bit longer. Let's see. Can you leave? Oh, you can. He can actually leave this territory. Okay, so you can leave that territory. You're now in this territory. You're going to start helping try and convert this one. So these guys are actually fine on their own right now. So we'll, we're trying to rebuild our army around here. Trying to have it so that we can get um, you guys to be a bit happier around here. And then I would like you to come back down around this way. So maybe it'd be a few turns until we start the war. But I know we're just about ready to start this war with these guys. It's what the fuck? Why do you guys want to join on here against me? Uh, if anything at all, this will allow me to get blind over the Byzantines. Um, I'm, I'm not even going to ask my allies to join this fight here. I don't see a reason for that right now. So we're just going to have it so, hey, sure, you guys are fighting me. Probably not going to matter. They they probably won't send anybody over. If they do, we can beat them back. Uh, I think that's fine. Uh, if anything, though, hey, again, this I would love to rebuild the Byzantine Empire. So I'm not opposed to fucking up the Sultanate of Rome and giving that land over to the Byzantines. I am very okay about this idea. Uh, there's just you guys continuously raiding me. I hate you. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, castle's been upgraded around here. Because you guys have been able to upgrade this food-wise. You have 10 foods. So you don't have a lot of food. But we're going to get more. I oh, know. Again, this one, I have to get the, we're gonna get the military order. Because we want to get... It's the, the order priory. Because again, we're going to try and turn this into a military uh, production area. So for right now, we can grab that. I don't actually have anything else I can build in this area. So we just have to hold off and wait. So you can do that for right now. Um, then we have it so... Get that also finished around here. You guys just finished something up here for some more food in this area. Um, you guys... Let's see. So, for right now, you do have more food. Let's see. I can get this for some more research rate. I would also not mind just upgrading your castle around here as well. I also think for this area, we don't need this to be a military production facility. So, we can actually switch you over. Because I'd rather you be... You get more out of either uh, because of this. Because it gives you more money from commercial buildings. Doesn't give public order, though. Uh, I don't know about that. I kind of like having the extra public order. So I think we'll kind of leave you guys as you are. Uh, this area here, though... God, I want to get, like, the one more building. I know, like, once I finish all my research, we'll switch that. But I think for right now, at least grab that. Try and grab at least the stuff to increase the rate at which we're getting research. And then I did try and get some more worthy brides. Um, yes, definitely take her hand. She's a really good one. This one... Uh... Are you a governor? Uh, no. I can't, I can't remember if that guy's a governor or not. Same deal, no. We'll turn those ones down and you were rejected. Not what I want to see. Okay. Uh, Building-wise, let's see. So for you guys here, 
Yeah, I kind of want to keep upgrading these to keep getting more sanitation. It gives gives more sanitation, gives more research rate. It's, it's a slow amount, but it is it does uh, add up. 1% per every once in a while is not a bad thing. I don't think I have enough money to get anything else right now. Well, you guys actually... I can upgrade your field here. Let's have the pigs die, I'd say. Well, no, this area here. Let's see, you guys have two fertility. Eh. You guys have a decent little bit of food. Um, let's go with the more food. Let's go with the pig sty, because like this gives me 60. It give me 126 overall. The pig farm would give me 110. But this one gives me way more money, so I'll go with that. So go with the go with the pig sty. Go with that. That's about all the money we've then got for that turn at least. You guys though, uh, I do need to make sure, because again, I want to make sure you'll be able to eventually like go here. Let's see, that is a crossing there. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, we'll get over here for now. I'm going to have you try and get some replenishment. Execute your, your deserters there. Let's wait until you can get uh, fully replenished. Then you can walk across over here, try and get into this area. I will try and see, though. Um, it was over here, I believe. Yep, I can get another spy. Let's get a spy. Have him go check out. Um, that's not bad to have. Uh, we'll have him try and go check out this area, see what they have for armies around here. Because then I'll basically have it so the, the start of the war is you hitting this territory, you hitting this territory, and then also us hitting this territory all at the same time. And then hopefully if we have a fight around here, it's you guys trying to assault Bilgrod. Yeah, so this guy right now, he's going to need a little bit of time to try and recover. Probably at least just like two turns, roughly. Yeah, two turns. So two turns, you'll be ready here. It gives me some time to properly bring my agent over to try and scout, because it'll take him about that same amount of time to get over here to kind of check out things. Uh, we do have a population surplus over here, which is great. Um, this area here, okay, so I do want to get you so you have more food. Um, we will want a public order building. I'm probably just going to go with the... Um, the bakery, probably just go with that, and I will get you this. Hold off on these, we do not have... Well, no, we have a little bit of food. I can get the workshop, at least, because that also helps out with public order. This area is actually doing really well. It's uh, going up really quickly. So hopefully we'll be able to move this army out of here soon. That's my hope, at least. Also, I think I needed to remember... Yep, I did. Get you guys your armor upgrades around there. And then I don't have enough money for anything else. I just finished up our other barracks in Poznan, or our blacksmith over here in Poznan. And then you guys in Riga just got something finished up over here as well. Okay. But you know, so basically, I think we just need two turns. You'll be ready two turns. Technically, it'll be the third turn, because it'll be two turns of replenishment, one turn, cross over here, get set up, and then we wait until uh, we're ready to strike this territory, because that's going to be the initiator for this battle. They've got a lot of guys around over here, and again, I'm hoping... I'd be able to win this. I think we can, because we've had some pretty good battles uh, on the defensive. I've got a good army here. Garrison here is it's a decently sized city, so it's a it's a decent it's a decent garrison. Got catapults and everything. Why are you okay? Am I actually gonna have to stop my possible war with Bulgaria to go against Trebizond and see if they're gonna join? Because I don't I'm not gonna ask you guys to join. Trebizond joined. Okay, so now nope, we have to. God damn it. I wanted to go to war with you guys, but no, now I need to go to war with Trebizond. God damn it. Okay, well, that's that's fun. Yeah, we have we don't have trade with them anymore. I'll probably still keep you around here, but that means these armies are going to move. So I'm going to adjust you guys, so that means now the territory that I'm at war with. So that's all this stuff over here. So this is the stuff from Trebizond, so we'll have to at least send my armies over there. But we'll basically say, um, let's start moving you guys, so we can kind of... I think we can force march our way over there. I'll still keep you around here, because again, just in case they, they decide to want to attack me, I will need somebody else. Um, we got something else going on around here right now. So, defamation. Oh, fuck, we're about to have the Great Famine thing, too. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, we'll pay this guy off here. Yeah, cl climate change, yeah, the Great Famine. Yeah, I remember that. That fucked me over for a little bit in my... Actually, I think because so much of my stuff is actually not based on fertility, I actually think I'm going to be fine. Because I know that was the issue with my um, Byzantine Empire campaign, is so much of my stuff was based on high fertility. Um, but I don't have that issue over here. True. But yeah, you know, so I'll start sending my forces over this way. 
So the territories that they control is uh, this one and this territory. And they've got all other stuff around here. So I guess we're going somewhere else. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to go to war with Bulgaria. But for right now, it's okay. So for right now, let's just have you guys force march our way over. We're going to start trying to make my way to about here, roughly. We can try and have it so, like, one can go down this way, one can go over this way. And then I know you guys, you're, you're doing well here. Uh, this area is doing far better. I'm going to keep trying to upgrade and make sure you guys... I'm glad I'm making these into military areas, uh, outposts. So basically, I'll be able to get more troops around here in case we need to. Because right now, I can basically... Oh, what's the population size around here, actually? That's a good question. Uh, it's okay. Could be better. It, it certainly could be better. Um, this does help with population of peasantry and nobility growth. So that, that does help. But yeah, no. So we're going to have to start turning around back over that way. And then... Yeah, we got that fort built up over around here. I think we're going to hold off on that right now. You guys, I can get this. And that's it. Uh, so we can at least grab that. Public order-wise, you guys are doing better. But yeah, you guys, you have to sit there for a little bit. And then we just need to move all my armies forward. Uh, Building-wise, though... Is there anything else I want to grab right now? Oh, Riga. Yeah, we can upgrade your thing up here. Because we switched you over to have more food from this. So yeah, try and upgrade that. Oh yeah, we're doing so much better with my food situation right now. I love it. Because at the moment, um, I only have three regions that are having issues. That's it. Uh, that's really crazy. Uh, and honestly, this, like, right here, uh, I can fix my food issue. Like, here, I can just have you guys get more. There you go. You'll have plenty of food from that. Um, then there's Kiev, which Kiev has an area that is very dependent on food. Uh, on fertility. So, you guys are not gonna... Well, actually, you do have a little bit of it's just poor now. So yeah, you still have some fertility around here. Just a lot less than usual. Um, I think I'm to hold off on those. Because you guys are barely public order. And then over here, Poznan. Oh no, we can we can fix this. We can get you guys. Uh, you're, you're close. Uh, maybe minus two. I think I'm just going to leave it as you are. It's okay. Well, though, actually. Minus one. See if we get minus two. It'd be perfectly zero with this. So we could grab that. And it'd be perfectly zero. I think we will. Grab that, just because we're, it's going to take, oh, how many turns did it take last time? I can't remember, but yeah, no, so like for right now, let's just keep trying to send my guys over. I, I do want to try and avoid taking too much damage, so let's just have you guys go into Fortify Stance during the winters. So right there, because we just need to make my way over, and if anything, it might be these armies that are going to be the ones that are going to basically kind of like watch over my stuff for us, um, while my other armies that are currently already over in the east will be making their way forward into hit Trebizond. Because, like, for right now, if I have you... Like, what's uh, what's going on over here? Is there anybody over here? There's nobody over here! Can I just move out of this area? Well, if we move out, we want to wait until next turn. Just so we can avoid the winter. That way we can have... So you can start trying to make your way down south. I think you'll be fine, because military presence is how much of this right now? 22. Rhythm's differences is the biggest thing. But I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Should be a plus 7 overall. So you can start making your way down this way. Uh, this territory over here, military presence is also 22. Religious differences is not nearly as bad. But I feel like next turn, especially with this finishing up, because that does give me more public order, I think I can start moving you out too. I'm still kind of sad I can't upgrade these guys. But I'll, I'll have it so you can start making your way over. You go for uh, Derbent. You try and go over there. I will say, let's take my spy here. Let's have you try and make your way over here while we're waiting for my forces to get in position. So you can try and do that. And then trespassing. We finished that. I have a little bit more money. I might be able to upgrade that. No, I cannot. I do kind of love that this instance right now really reminds me of like my, my first try at this campaign uh, before the safe broke. Where everyone is just declaring war on me right now at this point in time. We should have less naval commerce right now because of piracy. Oh, that's annoying. Because <sighs> like right now, am I going to be able to get anybody here to maybe give me a ceasefire? Also, why the fuck are you so pissed off? Oh, fuck, they feel oppressed. <sighs> I might have to eventually actually take my vassals out. Oh, God. Well, first and foremost, uh, let's do this. I need to try and... Um, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to try if... Okay, this is what we have to do with you guys. I'm going to give you a gift to try and balance this out. I know if your faction leader dies... You will get a new one, and he might not be rebellious. So we're going to do that. And I wanted to have these armies. Originally, I was going to have you guys kind of make your way over here. 
and try and help out. Maybe go actually hit Anatolia, but I think for right now, what I'm gonna do is... You're closer. Let's start sending you back this way, just in case. Just in case you guys decide to get uppity. And also, I'm gonna make another army. I've got the money! I can make another army. So we're gonna start making one back here. Let's go grab... Hey, you're pretty young. Oh, you're a merchant, though. Which... Yeah, you've got a, a good trait for yourself, at least. Yeah, let's go with you, I think. Fighting against Maria. Yeah, no, not, no, no, definitely not that. Is there anybody else? No, we don't want anything that's against Mar Uh, Yeah, no, I think this guy's going to be the best one. So, Deitzmon. Let's have you be the, the Blades of Mercy. We're going to start getting an army over around here. So, we'll start trying to put together some sort of force. Um, and, yeah, this is where we have the Joust in this. So, this is where we want to group my cavalry. Which, also, honestly, there's not much of a difference between these two uh, in terms of upkeep. So I feel like I'm just going to... These guys just look aesthetically differently. Interesting. I feel like I might go with these guys, or I could grab these guys because I don't have them in any of my armies. I'm just curious because they kind of look cool. Oh, that's a noble. Oh, we do have a lot of nobles around here. Do I have many more nobles over here? No, I don't. Available manpower. Oh, it's not that high. Okay, well, we, we don't need extremely high level calves, so we can just grab uh, these guys. So, grab those guys, and then basically we'll just slowly start getting this to be a siege army. You'll be around here to try and help out. We'll send this guy back, just in case they decide to be uppity. Um, I will send this army, though. I'm going to have you go down this way. And I'm going to have it so that you can try and maybe go hit pieces of Anatolia and give that over to the Byzantines. That way we can keep trying to pressure them a little bit. And then I know uh, this army, I think, can now start moving out. So we can start sending you down this way, trying to get over to hit this city. So you'll go here. You'll do that. This area is fine without you here for right now. It's uh, 18, or it's a plus 8 right there. This area needs a little bit longer. I think we'll wait a little bit more, and then I think we'll be good. Because for the most part, like, if I have the money, I want to upgrade this. That'll give us a little bit more public order. And if we can just get the religious differences to be better, this area should be fine. Yeah, because for right now, I definitely do need to start getting more armies, I feel like. Um, since we, we do make a decent amount of money. And I can have up to how many armies right now? I can have up to nine total. Yeah, I, I could do that. Because, like, each of my armies costs, like, how much money? 6k? Damn. I have three more of them. Um, actually. So, let's have you guys keep moving forward. Keep trying to get some more replenishments. Let's go to about here. Get a little bit closer. Push forward there. There's no army over here, so that's pretty good. And, again, they don't have anything else over on this side. So, I think we'll be fine there. You need to just keep pushing forward. Uh, this army here... Yeah, let's make you move down with Fortify Stance to be able to get some replenishment. So go right there. really do hate that you guys keep raiding my territory. What's that actually been doing to the region? Actually, you guys are fine. Because what's that usually supposed to do? It's supposed to make it so that there's reduced growth. And I have to say, uh, these local trade routes for wealth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the income is reduced. Yeah. Okay, but for right now... We're going to have it so... I'm going to keep trying... Yeah, I'm going to keep trying to give you guys money over here. I... I almost wonder if I should just kill you all. Like, at this point in time... I like the idea of kind of working with my allies, but also I don't want to deal with you guys. And I don't I don't make as, as much money as I would like to, but I can keep trying to give you guys gifts. I just have to hope that... Um, I cannot give you guys the large gift. That's a problem. Yeah, this, this is why I'm just going to make another army, because I can keep trying to stave this off, but you guys will feel oppressed until your faction leader dies, which... Ah! Uh, actually. Actually. I know who he is! So just kill him. Just just kill the faction leader of you guys to try and make it so you guys don't feel oppressed, and I'll start bringing more troops over here, just in case. So we can just start trying to get... We'll still try, try and make another army around here. But like, once this army's ready, if they decide to attack me, they decide to attack me. Let's see. So yeah, keep trying to... Yeah, we have plenty of you guys here. Let's see. That, that, that. We just need to all Axemen now at that point, basically. So take you guys... 
about seven to eight turns to get this army ready and rearing to go. But yeah, keep doing that. And then this army is just going to rush over this way again. I'm just going to keep rushing you forward. just Because I'm, I'm worried. They're really pissed off. It is very possible they could decide to just break their vassalage uh, away from me. And just say, yeah, fuck you guys. It's it. I would not be surprised if it happened. Um, okay, hold on a minute. There. We did finish some of my research. So we have the one that gives you more maritime commerce and reduce construction costs for port buildings. That's beautiful. Now we're going to start getting the religious uh, influence stuff, which that's really nice. Yeah, because we're going to try and get to this. And then I will probably try and get to... Yeah, here. More tax rate increases. Yeah, I really want to like probably just finish off all of this stuff before we really start trying to focus on my military again, I'd say. Because research rate, we have got the decent amount of research rate, but I, I really do need to improve my economy. Yeah, these other armies are getting really close to me right now around Kaffa. Don't break that. But this army is almost here. So you guys are going to be able to try and at least, if anything, push these forces back in case they decide to try and attack us. I do need you to try and... Your integrity is not the best. Yeah, I need to get it so that you... You, you definitely need to try and uh, rank up a bit more, and I'll probably get you the integrity stuff next. But for right now, we actually do have a population surplus, but uh, first and foremost, again, I'm going to try and... I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, that I would love if I can get you guys to assassinate the uh, faction leader here. Because if you can get rid of him, we can have it so they're not going to be rebellious anymore. So you can try and do that. We'll still keep giving them money every turn. So, so yeah, you guys make your way over here. And then I will still try and give you guys a gift right now. So I can only give you guys a medium gift, but I can keep doing that. It's improving. Oh, ah, uh, they don't feel oppressed. They do not feel oppressed anymore. I don't need to stab them. Yeah, at the moment, it says I don't need to stab you guys. Alrighty. Well, I think then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, what I'm probably going to have. So for right now, uh, I already have these armies over here. I might as well use them for something. So I think what we'll do is I'll have it. So yeah, you get replenished. You keep building up this force here. And then once you're ready, I can then have it so that these two armies... Uh, I think I'm going to try and make a new vassal over here. I'm going to conquer France. <laughs> because reasons. Because if I'm looking at the people who are trading me right now... Um, I don't want any of your land. But I will stay a lot. I will keep you guys happy. And then I'll have it so that, like... I just don't want to piss anybody off that I'm trading with. Scotland I'm fine with. So basically be... Anybody that I'm not trading with is going to die, <laughs> basically. So that would be then, uh, let's see, so I don't mind killing you guys off. I don't mind taking you guys out. Um, I don't mind taking you guys out. I can take other people's states, but I shouldn't. Um, I'm still not trading with you guys. I really want to trade with you guys, but you do not like me. You don't like my gifts given to the Hensi League. You like them. You don't like them. So that's that's understandable. But for right now, at least, what we can do is... Yeah, you're making your way over here. This army... You're almost here. You're almost there. Next turn, you should be able to strike the territory. Take that. Then we just need to start trying to convert this area. Which, at the moment right now, this area is already doing pretty good. You might not need to be here for that much longer into, uh, before you can start trying to make your way out of here. Oh, you're going to die soon. <laughs> You're 52. Yeah, he's possibly gonna die soon. Uh, also, it does look like though, um, my faction leader is now going to be governor, uh, being the governor of this area. Um, let's upgrade this fort here though, and then I can start making you make your way over this way. You can start making your way over there, because you need to still scout out over this area here. And I don't see anybody at the moment, but yeah, I think these three territories will be kind of where I stop my expansion into the Empire of Trebizond. And then I did have that population surplus, which is over here. I don't think I have enough money to get anything right now. Oh, no, I maybe do. Uh, you guys... Oh, no, we can get the hunting grounds. Yeah, because that gives us money, food, and a resource to trade. Yeah. Some German pretenders are destroyed. Another faction emerged. Okay. And then I do just want to double check. Because, if, again, this would be before you guys stabbed them again. Yeah, no, you guys do not feel oppressed anymore. I do not. I'm gonna still give you guys a little, a small gift. I, I'm still gonna keep trying to do that. 
just to make sure that you guys still like me, because I don't want you to jump away just yet. I'm going to stop giving you guys territory, though. I do need to make a different vassal over here to try and help out. But yeah, you guys, you you don't need to stab him. Congratulations. Uh, let's go after somebody else, because again, I think we're going to try and have it so that I want to try and take out, yeah, like, the Electrode of Tear. And then I, I could either just subjugate them and then have them be my new vassal. So I kind of do like that. But basically, for right now, uh, this army here, uh, I'm going to have you just sit where you are. And get all my armor upgraded, though. So you can upgrade the armor there. And then you keep making your army, slowly but surely. And then for right now, we can finally fucking do something. Sometimes I hate how long it takes me to like move armies around in this mod. But hey, there we go. This territory, oh my god, the garrison's crap. We can just take that immediately. I want to have an actual fight, but no, I guess not. Okay, so there we go. We get to then occupy this territory, start pushing back the Empire of Trebizond. Use my money primarily to repair stuff. Because all this stuff, yeah, is good. We'll just have to switch it over. And then this is George over here, so we don't have to worry about you guys. My spy, though... Let's keep scouting out around down over here. So, like, you go there. You right there. Yeah, there's nobody over here. Honestly. Oh, man, it's going to be really easy for me to push them. You have to wait a turn. Wait, and then we'll have it so we'll move you out next turn. Because it's winter right now. Don't want you to take any attrition. So you'll keep making your way down there. Hopefully it doesn't take me long to leave this spot. That's my hope. Um, I know this area right now... Yeah, with that about to finish up, you guys should be really good. I think I can move you. Yeah, I'm going to try and move you down this way. Uh, it's at minus three. How much is it growing here? It's not going up as quickly. There's actually a lot of local traditions there. So that's going up pretty high. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna probably actually want to turn you back around. So you'll have to, you'll just stay there for right now, I guess. Building wise, though, is there anything else we want to grab right now? Let's see, because those guys are destroyed. We have finished up like that. We finished up some stuff over here. Food stuff is finished up here now. Uh, I would say, yeah, you keep eating more sanitation. I keep trying to get some more public, uh, some more research rate from that. And then I don't have enough money to upgrade this one right now. Um, I do think for you. Let's see, public order wise, yeah, you guys have plenty there. You got plenty, I would say. Let's, let's grab this, because I want to get more money in here. So let's grab that, and that's all I've got for now. I don't want to pay you for this, but sh it's a hundred, sure. I, I do want to make sure you guys still like me, so gladly I'll go with that hungry, I guess. So at the moment right now, though, still moving my forces over. I don't know what the hell hungry is doing. Like, I haven't asked them to join any of my wars. Bulgaria really wants to possibly fight me about Belgorod. I just wonder if they're ever going to. Because, like, let's see. So for right now here, oh, let's see, that's minus 11, even with the army here. Let's see. So religious differences, instability. Yeah, so first and foremost, let's start trying to convert this stuff. I would say for this area, I'm not opposed to allowing you to also be a military area, but I shouldn't have too many of those. Population's tiny as hell, so probably not going to do that. Let's go with the uh, domain, because it gives you the research rate, gives public order. It's a good middle ground. Get that. Get the conversion. This needs to be so... Food-wise, got five. So I'm going to convert this over to the cattle herd. This, I will probably, for right now, have it just be the baker. So we'll grab that for the most part right now. If you guys have... Well, yeah, no. If I go with this, actually, I can do... Yeah, this one. So we'll grab that to get the conversion as well. So we'll go with that. And then... Succession, climate change. Okay, so now food's back to normal. Good. The little ice age. Um, let's go to the We finally stop. It's not apparent some of the winters have grown some harsher. Yeah, I, I don't like the winters already. I didn't need another reason to dislike the winters. So, yeah, we did not need that. Um, oh, I finished the grounds. Okay, so for right now... I don't think I need to give you guys another gift. It is improving, so I think we're fine with you guys as you are. Okay, so for right now, though, yeah, you're going to have to sit here for a little bit. I know this guy needs to try and have it so you keep watching over this territory for right now. Until it's high enough, especially because of that other... Well, actually, no, this actually gives me a good reason to want to get... Um, 
Because I still find it interesting that the buildings that reduce state religion actually also reduce like this stuff too. So like I, I, I do really appreciate that. So for right now, you need to stay around there. This army can now keep moving. Oh, you still took attrition? What the hell? Oh yeah, no, because I'd execute your deserters. Sit there for a turn. Yeah, sit there for a turn because I'm going to have it so you'll keep making me you're over this way next turn. These armies keep making their way over. You're still recruiting. This army, though, I'm going to keep pushing forward because we're going to have it so that I am going to make my way over here. I'm going to try and make you into a new vassal. It'll be probably the easiest to just make you into a new vassal because then I can just have it so I just kill you. We're going to try and take all this land here. I don't think I'd actually be able to trade with you. No, because you wouldn't have a, a coastal port. Oh, no, actually, if I gave you... Yeah, if I gave you the land like down here from the Holy Roman Empire, I think that would allow you to then be able to trade with me. Ah, uh, hello, Room. I will gladly accept free money from you. I'm not opposed to that. Because I know right now I don't have... I have way too much going on right now. Where, at this point in time, I have to expand in the east. I have to expand in the west. And at least with the Hensetic League not wanting to jump on me, um, I will be able to try and have it so that we'll just try and expand, get a different vassal over around here. I do think we'll go with the t uh, tier guys. We'll go with them. Basically, we're just trying to have it so that only the really big players are the ones left alive and I kill everybody else. And their population surplus here. Ooh. So you guys... Let's see. Food-wise, you do have a... Okay, I can get that. Yeah, so let's do this. So I'm going to get you... We're going to get the building that, um, not that one. I want to get the, this building in here because I don't have one over here just yet. So we'll try and grab that. For succession. Bulgarian pretenders are dead. Okay, I didn't even realize they spawned. Um, I am now an increased Imperium level. That now, oh, there we go. One more priest. Hell yes. So let me then remember to grab another priest. I'm just going to grab whoever's the youngest. I just want you. Because we're going to have you. You'll be helping out with conversion there. That'll be perfect. And then building-wise, let's see. I keep just trying to keep upgrading these for more research rate. You try and do that. I will also try and have it so for right now. Let's see. You guys are good as you are. That army's still just sitting there in the ocean. Don't have the food to upgrade anything there. You guys, I can upgrade some more stuff here. Although, I think we're just going to keep eating more stuff for the... Um, oh, you guys are actually pissed off around this area. Ooh, actually, that's the case. That's already maxed out. This can give me a little bit more. You guys are upset. Political situation. Why are you upset about my political situation? I'm actually doing well on this. Although, I probably should have more people be trying to go and get uh, ranked up. First and foremost, though, let's get you guys some wives first. Try and do that if there's anybody else that I can marry off right now. There's actually quite a few of you. Quite a few of you guys can try and be married off. So try and do that. These guys I can't. Okay, so do that for right now at least. Go with that. And then this army here. <laughs> it's the winter. I need to stay here fucking again. God, I can't wait until I've turned the four turns for two year mod back on. I, I miss that one so much, and I can't wait to see what our next campaign is going to be. Also, looks like Bulgaria finally fucking moved. <laughs> they finally stopped sitting in the same fucking area. Um, so they're not raiding that area now at this point in time. And then let's see. So we got a bunch more edicts because now that we are thing proved. Okay, losing accounting, that's fine. So I will let you guys marry. Um, this one, it's reducing authority. No, I can't let you guys lose authority. I can let you lose everything else because most of the time, yeah, that's good. Because most of the time I'm having you guys be governors or generals. And it's okay to have, oh, and commanding, I think you are a governor. So I think I'll let you take her hand. I see more, you guys have more uh, brides here. Um, hostile agents exist. That's fine. It's fine if you get stabbed. Okay. For right now, though. So this army is almost up here. Uh, I will need to wait for the other army. I feel like there's t there's two forces here. So this is quite a bit. So I think I'm going to want my other army before we make my way over here and actually assault this. But we'll at least get close enough and just be chilling there. Which you need at least three more turns. This force will be ready. Uh, back over here, this army can finally fucking move. Oh, God. So yeah, if you start making your, your way over this way. You know, start making your way over here. Try and get down this way. I saw the army that was in here move. Um, I don't know where he went. Where'd my spy go? 
So I've got you. Hey, you kind of stay around over here. You come up over this way, because I saw him go up this way. I just don't know where. Yeah, there he is. So there's the army. It's nothing too crazy. But yeah, I'm just going to try and ignore you, and we'll keep making my way over to Darebent. Um, I wonder, actually... I'm curious to see how they feel about this so far. Speak your speech. Oh, actually, it's high. I want to take more territory from you, though, first, before I get, uh, give the into that. Because I, I want to beat you guys back a bit. I would love to be able to take, like, all this territory down here, but I don't have enough armies to be able to watch over them right now. I have another priest, and you're supposed to be making your way over here to try and help convert this stuff, but it's going to take you forever to get over here. So you'll, you'll have to take your time. Uh, this area right now... It's getting there. Yeah, you just need to just grow this area. Food-wise, we don't have enough again. So you just need to keep watching over this. So you guys will be good for right now. And it's just waiting on this little army here. Building-wise, though, let's see what we want to grab. So... Why are some of you guys pissed off? So, like, why are you guys pissed off? Again, I'm already trying to upgrade this. Food-wise, we do have enough food. Uh, this is not giving me more public order, though. Does it give me more growth? So it would grow faster. Let's grab that. Because for right now, I need, like, one more building that just gives me public order in this area. Or I need to research that allows me to, like, upgrade this, which... Uh, it's, uh, it's not that bad. Industry buildings, construction costs, population growth. This is going to give me more religion influence, though. So we'll go with that first, I'd say. You guys also want to offer a peace treaty? Fine, I guess. You're, I have to pay you a little bit? Fuck it, sure. That means my other army there. That one can now go join on in and help out against the uh, Empire of Trebizond. So we'll go with that. Have those guys kind of sail over. Because the one territory that they have um, that's on the coast... I'm not opposed to just pushing into immediately. Uh, General's dead. Uh, ooh, they're actually now the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. So we got that research there. Beautiful. Got a food shortage right now over here. It's not that bad, but I'm going to have you guys get this. So you should be okay. You should be good there. Sarah's is still really pissed off. Outrage populace. Yeah, you guys are doing what you can. This is going up, but pretty damn slow. Also, we're about to have a rebellion around here, so that's fun. Uh, elopement. It's not a bad trait. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to let you. you I, I need more people to have uh, kids anyways, so go with that. Can't really build anything else around there. Uh, you need to keep sitting here as you make your way over, so keep doing that. But then I would say, so for right now, this army here, you, let's set sail and try and go hit Trebizond itself. So we'll try and make my way over here. You're going to try and hit this territory. And then we can have it so that we can take this territory, give it over to the Byzantines, just to get them to like me. And then like once we recover, we'll push on over here and start just trying to conquer more of this territory. Like, why the hell not? Uh, this army over here, you need two more turns. This force here, we can move up a little bit. But then you'll have you sit in Fortify Stance to recover. And basically, we'll just wait until that other army gets over here before we decide to start trying to attack this ship. I was just about to attack you guys, but I want to trade with you too. <laughs> Looks like uh, you guys took Frankfurt. I didn't realize that. <sighs> Let's. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no for right now, because I'm going to be trying to have it so that I make you my vassal. So I'm gonna hold off for that right now, because I want to make you my vassal. Then I'll start trading with you guys. Um, and also, I just realized that because of my Imperium level going up. Uh, my Aries are being more pissed off again. I'm actually tempted to, right now, actually switch, because I know I really like doing this uh, at some point anyways, is uh, reducing the tax rate in my territories, because that will help with growth and with public order. And then we're just going to be relying more on trade. So I have to see how much money that's going to actually uh, like affect my economy. But it's something I'm tempted to do. Maybe we won't drop it down fully right now, but we could drop it down like a level or two, or just drop it down one level, I mean. Because right now I make about 17,000 per turn. Um, this army here is almost fully done. So that's, yeah, I'll, just, I'll make a little bit less money. I have a population surplus over here in Lesser Poland. Yeah, because, like, if I go... Yeah, so many of these areas are, like, going down by, like, minus six right now. So it's kind of concerning. So I do need to do something to get more public order in these areas. So, like, for right now, uh, this one... Actually, I think I might switch over to a different building. I switch over this because that does give me public order. 
it's not that expensive. So I'm going to switch that over there because we need to try and get more. Um, I'd like to get more food from that, but I can't right now. Let's see, that makes me 52 food. Makes me 60, so it'd be a little bit more food from that. We could grab that. But we need to slowly start trying to fix my stuff. And if I decide to lower my taxes here, so I would barely be making money, but I would have, so it's a plus two essentially is what I'd be able to, oh, actually, a plus, uh, it's minus four right now. Yeah, so if I, honestly, I kind of want to just drop it down all the way. I barely make money, but I think it's okay. Makes it so my public order issues are a lot easier to deal with. This area is really pissed off. Um, I need you to like upgrade this castle here for sure. So we'll still try and get things to like help improve the economy best we can. Uh, you get the baker here. So we'll mainly put a lot of money into areas that have low public order. So you guys can try and do that. And then we're still trying to expand. So we will still get more uh, uh, from here. It's like you keep making your way forward here. Because we're almost down to the bent. I think actually I can now... Oh, please tell me I can. Just barely hit this city. I want to do an actual fight today. We haven't done a fight at all yet today. There we go. I, I don't need to fight this. I just want to, to try and minimize my casualties. And then also try and have it so that... <laughs> we get to do something. Because literally it's just been, Hey, I'm going to be fighting uh, uh, Bulgaria today. Wait, other people are declaring war on me. Well, shit, I have to redirect my attention. And then, so now, let's do this. We can use my artillery pieces to basically break a section for my cavalry uh, to get them inside. And then all my infantry, you guys are making your way on in to the port. Alrighty, that's actually good. Let's start this up. Because again, we'll have it so that for right now. Okay, let's get you guys, I think, uh, yeah, on this side is fine. So more on this area right here. Because I want to be closer to where we're actually dropping off troops. So start the battle with you guys there. You guys get a little bit closer here. Start the battle. Start trying to make your way forward here with the rest of you guys. There, there, there. Artillery pieces, then. You need to try and break down the gates as quickly as you can. And then I'll have it so that once you do that, we, once we distract them on the uh, at the uh, the port, we can then bring my cav in and start flanking these guys. This is, is going to be a slaughter. I already have a really good chance here, uh, given what we've got. But hey, I just want to make sure we actually showcase a fight here. Because I always like being able to showcase... Like, actually, I don't think I've looked at this unit yet. I don't believe I have. You know, I never showcased this unit yet. And we already showed off what the general looks like now. Gates are down there. Yeah, try and take out the towers now. I keep trying to focus around down here and here. Have I shown what the swordsmen look like? I think I did. Slow us down a little bit. No, 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 I, I've not learned to do what those guys look like just yet. Yeah, so those are what my swordsmen look like. And I know I've already shown what my crossbows look like. Okay, let's get you guys. Start trying to disembark. I only have two points. Not the best, but you guys should be okay. So keep trying to disembark over there. Tiller pieces, you will just keep trying to destroy the towers here. Which, they're almost destroyed. Then we can just have you just, like, start opening up onto the people on the walls here. Try and whittle them down a little bit more. Because, like, for right now, if you guys don't fucking miss, you guys can, uh, like, this needs, like, one hit, this needs a couple hits, and then they'll both be down. Alrighty, I've got some axemen down on the ground. So start trying to deal with their cavalry here. Start trying to take these guys out. And then I'm bringing more men in as soon as we can. You guys can disembark there. Try and just keep moving forward here with my infantry. Moving up there and there. They're not bringing a lot of these guys over just yet. Actually, I might want to have you guys try and, let's see... Focus specifically over here, because I want to try and see if you guys can actually break another section down, just in case to try and stop me from making my way on in with my cavalry. Because, like, for right there, yeah, you guys are able to push on in. Start pushing on in to start taking points. More people are making their way on in. Yep, focus on these cav units. There we go. Uh, they bring more cav on in. You two can start trying to help out with these guys. Now, we're just going to go straight for the city center. It's like you guys first capture this point. You guys, again, let's, we're trying to go over here. I'm trying to have the beat up ones be the ones that are taking out towers. So you guys keep making your way over this way. These two can disembark next. There we go. Because then I'll have it. Yeah, so you guys just help this point. Start trying to make your way to the safe center. You can take out this tower. 
Take out that tower. Skirmishers are just chilling there. And artillery is now out of ammo. Honestly, I might not even need to fight them all, because they might just let me walk straight on in and take out their general's bodyguard here and capture the city center. Because I fight now, my axes. I do really appreciate my axes. I, I know this campaign, I'm definitely going to be going more with a uh, two-handed variant far more often and not use shields as much. Just go really hard in on the aggression. Like, you guys are doing some pretty good damage here. You're pushing through that guy. Some cavs making their way over here. Yeah, you guys are trying to make your way to actually shoot us. Yeah, you kind of make your way over here. I think mean, now let's have my cav make your way on in. It's like, we'll have you guys go over here. Try and hit those archers. And like, this general's almost down. So he's at about almost half health. You guys keep making your way forward. Let's see, I'll actually have you kind of maybe help out with the C center. Or the gates, I mean. Because I want to make sure you guys don't flank my cav. If you just ignore them and let me go straight for your archers, I'm okay with that. Because, yeah, like, you guys can help out over here against the archers. Take them out. This guy's almost dead. He's down to 60 guys. They're bringing more men over. I'm going to have you guys kind of focus on the infantry. Cavalry. I can get you guys to just maybe try and help out over here. Try and help out against the spearmen. Let's try and make your way there. Yeah, leave the infantry here. Because this guy's almost dead. You can just get kind of a slight charge on the side here. That might break him. Okay, there we go. So he broke. Now, let's start keeps taking the city center. So you guys can just chill there with my cav. The rest of my infantry, let's just casually walk over to try and get rid of the rest of their units. There we go. Beautiful. So, Trebizond is now under my control. Um, I'll now have it so we'll sit here at least one turn for sure. But then I will be trying to sell this off. Technically just gift it over to the Byzantines. Try and get them to... I, I want to try and rebuild them. I really do. So, because I don't think I want to control this territory myself. We need to technically have it so total with my allies. I need to control 75 regions. But I also need to control 30 myself, basically. Because I need to make it so that it's the dominant. My religion is dominant in that area. So, at the moment right now, I've got like... I've got 22 regions. There's at least... Well, actually, I could just straight up... I could I could keep... It is a port area. Would mean I get more money from trade. So I could take, like, these four. So that's four regions. I'd want to take these two. That's six regions. Seven. Eight. And nine. It's nine regions from what I'm at right now. That actually does line up pretty well. Also, you have no hands. Um... So we could have it so that I control this territory here. I control Trebizond. I could do that. Any other territory around here, I could easily try and have it so that we give over to somebody else. I'm not opposed to that, honestly. Because if I keep Trebizond, I could convince them to give me a ceasefire once I take this territory, which is going to be next turn. Then we can build up a little bit before we strike them again. Kind of do like that. Uh, this copper mine, I do want at some point. I'm going to demolish it for right now, though. Um, repair this, repair this. Repair pretty much everything there. We'll switch that over. And I do think I'm not going to have my taxes be this low right now. We'll have it be lower, but not fully, completely nothing right now. Because I, I do want to make sure that, like, hey, public order and growth is higher. But also, we want to make sure we're still making enough money that I can still do stuff. But I think, basically, let's try and have it so the next turn, I'm going to try and hit Darebent. I'll try and take that. I'll try and offer you guys a ceasefire, but then at some point, I'm going to want these three territories. Yeah, because I think just having the tax reduces a little bit does really help right now. So we'll do that. Uh, this area, that's the Rebellion. So let's get rid of you guys immediately. Hello, guys. Yeah, get rid of these guys. Don't make me lose any units, please. Thank you. Okay. And then, uh, I don't even make all that much money from it. Just get the replenishment. And then turn back around. Area is still pissed off. We just need to keep trying to convert this area the best we can. Um, let's go back down over to Trebizond, though. Because we need to make sure we start trying to convert this stuff. So you, for sure, start off with getting the Priory. And then again, I'm going to demolish this for right now. We will get it later, but we will. Uh, but for now, we need to get rid of it. This area, because it's going to be on the front lines and possibly an area that I'm going to need to continuously defend, I'm going to get the castle. So get the castle there. You don't have enough money for anything here, and you don't have enough money for there, anything here right now, so just hold off on those. But I keep doing what we can around here. Um, 
What's the garrison here? Okay, so seven units there. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think I think we're fine, because this army here is not that crazy. I will take a little bit of attrition, making my way up here. Not that bad. Yeah, not that bad. So let's fight this. Take this territory over here. Then we'll offer them a ceasefire for now. We will offer the Empire of Trebizond a ceasefire until I can kind of consolidate the territory I've taken from them. Basically focus on getting more of my research set up. And then I will try and have it so we'll take all the territory I want from them, which is that would basically just be those three other territories that they still control. Um, they have one other territory that below this, that uh, or southwest of uh, Trebizond, that we could actually go take too, but I think we might just ignore that. No, we could actually take that eventually too at some point just to give that over to the Byzantines. Because again, I want to see if we can rebuild the Byzantines. I would love if we actually did and I made them a, like a really good trade partner. Because that's the thing. I want to have some really strong trade partners for ourselves. And we're going to eventually start starting to switch to making more money from trade. This is good conditions. Um, so let's go over here. Because I'm going to be away from that area. So we want to be kind of over here. We're going to focus on this section. So artillery. Get set up. Let's get you guys to about like, yeah, like right there. Infantry and everybody else just move forward. Crossbows. Actually kind of on this side. And then cavalry. I'll have it so that you guys are going to be over here waiting. So we'll start the moment. Let's first make sure we break down the gatehouse first. Break down the gatehouse, break you open one section of wall, and then we'll start just destroying every single tower. Alrighty, the gates are down. Start trying to move my forces forward. Let's get you guys to kind of spread out a little bit, get my crossbows up here. So at the moment right now, they've got about, so they took about 100 casualties so far. So we'll have it so my infantry start trying to make your way forward. I'll try and have like, you guys go over this way. You guys are going to go over here to try and break on through this section that's been broken. And then I can try and have it so my crossbows, if we need to, you guys will be providing some fine support for my forces. So you guys just keep trying to make your way forward here. I still need to try and get these guys replaced here. I'm kind of sad that they don't get higher quality versions of them over time. Maybe they do, like, but it has to be like the, like the, high, the late period, possibly. I'll have to see about that. But like for right now, at least, yeah, you guys try and make your way here. You guys are trying to yeah, go over this way. You need to get into melee with these guys over here. Crossbows. Get closer. Start trying to fire into people. Again. No. What are you... Guys, I literally told you to use the gates and you're not using the fucking gates. Go up here. No. Wrong. Wrong. God, I hate pathing and Attila so bad. Go over here, guys. Go to the swordsmen. Go through the gates. There you go. There you go. No, guys, I just fucking told you. Make your way over here. Right there. Push on through this section. They have a lot of horse archers. But yeah, crossbows, you guys are in position. I don't know if I need you guys to be spread out. They're not even focused on you guys right now, so let's just get you guys closer. Get you closer. Focus on these two little blobs here. Because for right now, number-wise, I am killing them faster than they are killing me. So you guys are pushing in here rather nicely. So if you guys can just kind of push on in this way, and I can have my crossbows give some supporting fire into the skirmishers, we can easily just push them through these sections. If if one of these sections breaks, then my cab gets to run on in the other side. There we go. We've made our way through the gates now, basically. So what I'm going to try and do is get my cab over here. Try and get you guys to kind of help out over this way. See if you guys can kind of push on in to try and hit some of these units. Because you guys are pushing in really nicely here. You're making short work up there, because you're fighting mainly the infantry, uh, the, sorry, the, the archers and the horse archers here. So you're pushing through them really nicely. So keep trying to push on through here. Cav, yeah, as soon as you guys can, you'll make your way on in and try and help out. Yeah, so I have like two of you go there, two of you go here, and then we can kind of flank these guys, because bounce power-wise, they've lost about 500 guys so far, almost 600. So, it's not that much longer until they start giving up a yeah, Cav. Please, no! Stop being so stupid. Go this way. There you go. You did the right way. I hate that to babysit you guys. To babysit every single one of you to make... No. Make sure you're going in the right way. Because you're like, no, this is the right way. We want to go to this giant ass blob. No, there's a fucking gate right here. Just go through the fucking gate, please. As long as you guys are in, you're fine. Yeah, so just keep pushing on in there. These guys, yeah, try and help out with the infantry around here to try and break them. But we'll use the cav to try and push on in through to the sea center. So yeah, try and push on in towards their javelins there. Infantry, 
keep focusing on these guys. Number-wise, oh yeah, there we go. They've lost about half their army now at this point in time. Crossbows are doing good damage. This guy's about to break here in a second here. There's some mercenaries they have. Mercenary George and Swordsman. I feel sorry for... Did we just take a shot to the shoulder? He's still going, yeah? There we go. Finally pushed through them. Now, Cap, please, if you would so kindly, take out the Jindra's bodyguard. God, I just really feel so weird that I'm literally killing the faction, essentially. Or the unit types that I was playing with for so long now at this point in time. Wait up. You guys focus on them. I'm trying to bring my infantry over this way as well to kind of help you guys out. Because for right now, they don't have much left. I think it's just the general and, like, yeah, like this one other unit here. So my crossbows, I can just try and get you in range to shoot this guy. Because at this point in time, we'll start taking the city center any second now, like once you die. Because yeah, he's slowly dying there. Bring those guys over there. We might actually get them to just break, though. Seeing as how, yeah, like my crossbows start focusing on this guy here. He should die pretty easily. And then once he's dead, it's just the general. That's it. There we go. They have given up. Beautiful. So, you know, I think for right now, because I don't have any other armies that I can use to really start trying to harass them and take some more of their territory, I think we'll consolidate for a little bit. We'll take what we've gotten from the Empire of Trebizond, consolidate, build it up, and then uh, we'll give them a piece for a now, because they, they do want a piece. I've taken three territories from them so far. So we can give them a piece, build up the lands I have from them, then we'll make my way over eventually to take the other three territories. And in the meantime, I think we're going to be kind of just like pushing on into the west a little bit and try and make a new uh, vassal over there. Yeah, because Darebent is now under my control. Let's start trying to repair all this stuff. And I know this area, I do not need you. Because um, I'm going to try and have it so I know these territories will all build them up like they are going to be defensive buildings. So we're going to make it so we mainly focus more on uh, building up the towers, making so we all always use the castles, and so on and so forth. This, yeah, I still don't have enough money. Because what I want to get around here, food-wise, you guys don't have a ton of food. You don't even have a food building here, actually. Okay, that's what that's going to be, I guess. So that's what you guys will do there. But no, let's now try and talk to the Empire of Trebizond. I'm not insulting it. You guys, hello. Peace treaty, and then I'm going to make you guys give me as much money as I can get out of you. Especially since we're trying to lower our taxes. So I can get maybe 3k, probably, maybe 2 my 500. Oh, no. Oh, I can't even get 2,000? I can maybe get 1,000. Let's try that. Okay, I got 1,000 from them to give them a ceasefire. And then I do actually wonder, so... I can't trade with you guys right now. Would you guys want to not be assholes and trade with me? Do you want to trade? Oh, oh my god. Now speak as you wish and try to be interested. So, projected income. So they, they're the ones projected to make? Oh, it's that silver. They're projected to make four fucking K from silver from me. Oh my god. Do you seriously have that much silver? Holy shit. I'll try and offer it. Like, why not? I get a little bit more money from you guys. And uh, hopefully I then just don't have to fight you guys for right now. Does mean I have a little bit more cash right now, though. So we can probably try and have it so that I might now have enough to... I'd like to convert this over to you. Do the food for... I'm going I'm to go with it. I think we'll be okay. This will have to convert over, probably. Uh, also, I'm tempted. We don't have the... Uh... We do not have the uh, interest off that just yet, though. But I would be tempted to do that. I know this area. I need to get this to be... I'm probably going to actually... I'm going to demolish this to be food. Or no, if I'm going to do that, it should be this one. This one doesn't have enough money to convert it. Yeah, because let's turn this and these both into food. This will be public order. And then this, I want to be another trade port. Because if we're going to focus really heavily on trade, I need to make sure that every port I control is a fucking trade port. Let's see. Death of natural causes for one of my dudes. Sad, but that's okay. But yeah, back over here. Again, so for right now, I do need to have it. So you, uh, we need food. So we need food. We're going to grab that. I'm going to also have you demolish this. You, we need public order. And then also more food. So we could probably grab this or we could get... Let's see. I actually do get more from the estate. So let's go with the estate building here. Go with that. 
And then you, I want to convert. I want to convert this over to the trading dock. Because again, income from trading tariffs, I, beauty, I def absolutely want. And again, I love that the religious influence minus state religion, I thought that was going to hurt me. That actually benefits me more often. Because anything that is um, like this, yeah, the regional development stuff, that should be affecting that stuff. Which is interesting. Um, but you know, so for right now, you guys can do that. And then over here, let's see. So again, we can launch this. And then again, these areas here. So this is not going to be on the front lines. So I think it's okay to have it be this. So it's going to have the research rate stuff. Food. Let's see. So it has two fertility. So we're going to go for now the Gallard. And then this, I do not have enough money. But I will also probably want to have it so that I will get you guys um, either the bakery or the estate. Like we need to get these areas happy. We need to start trying to convert them. Um, still slowly waiting on that other priest who is currently slowly making his way down. So yeah, you're going to be making your way over here to help with these conversions. This area is doing better. Far better now. Um, I think eventually I'll be able to leave here. Yeah, you're at plus 12 now. I think this guy can leave. Yeah, you can leave there now. So you can leave there now. You come down to this area to try and help out convert this spot. And then how are we doing just in general with most of my areas? So you're pissed off, but we know that. Pontus is pissed off, but we know that. Um, you're going down a little bit as well. Again, for right now at least. If I, get, if I had enough food... No, actually, this one almost does. No, this one actually perfectly does. So once I have enough money, I can get that Citadel upgrade. So we can do that. Basically, we're going to be trying to put a lot of the money that I do have right now into areas to make them happier. We are focusing on research rates the, right now, though. So I'm trying to have it so like you're getting this. I'm going to try and have it so we're going to get down to here because this gives me public order. And then also that I really do want as well. So basically we're trying to go get like these ones. don't think I need to get these just yet. But basically we're trying to get all the public order and economic things we can get from this side. I can get the trade tariff stuff later from here. So that's, that's not too much of a worry. I will have it though. So this army, you're still making your way down over here. Because I, again, I want to make you guys into a vassal. I don't like how many armies you have over here. You have a lot. They're all early. And oh, they're really bad. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to try and take Frankfurt. I'd hold on to Frankfurt. Then we push on into Tyr and make them into a vassal. Give them the territory back. Or actually... In the name of the state, welcome... I could just try and make you a vassal. I'm curious. Like, I don't think I have enough money for it, but I'm just curious if that even no. Because like, if I could just make you a vassal, I've been able to do that before, but I had way more money at the time. Let's see, I've got more raiding over around here in Kaffa. Can you guys stop this, you assholes? Because this actually matters. When you, I have an army. I don't have an army over here. That actually matters. Um, so for right now, let's get this because that'll give me a little bit more public order around this area. So you can try and grab that. And then these areas need to keep double checking. So for right now, uh, I'm gonna have it so just gives us a nice big boost of food. We'll just go with the cattle herd. Already have that. I'm gonna have you get. Yeah. So we do want the town barracks. I'm gonna want this because that will let me have better, stronger towers around here and give a better garrison in the area. Because this area is gonna be my front line. I don't want to ever really expand past this point, really. So we'll be building that up over here. Keep demolishing that. I don't have enough money to convert this right now, so that's as fine as it is. You need to keep making your way over here and keep trying to then help convert this area. So keep trying to do that. That's doing better. Most of my other areas are doing a little bit better now as well. And then for the most part right now, it's just the fact that, like, let's see, so back over here, I need to go back to this guy. I need to push you forward, but like to right there. And then just put you into encampment stance again. Because then we're going to try and hit Frankfurt. And even though you guys have a ton of armies over here, I don't know if I care. If their stats are all as bad as they look. Let's start trying to train you guys here too. Then maybe we're fine. Because I see these electoral electorate uh, renners. The morale is 20 fucking 5. Speed's pretty high. But like, they just seem to have a bunch of shit. That actually worked, hell yeah. Yeah, most of these guys are also all early units, too. It might be okay for you guys. I'll just see. I'm going to have you actually try and uh, 
Yeah, to increase chance of assassination. And then we'll start trying to have it so actually. This one, this one. Because I'm obviously, you guys keep trying to harass these guys. These armies will be doing something next turn, basically. Well, would you look at that? This is perfect. I was already intending to fight you guys. Now I get a justified reason to enter the war on the side of my ally. So you guys, you're coming on over here. Are you actually going to attack me here? Are you trying to attack with three fucking armies? Yep, you are. Because <laughs> this guy's moving in slowly. Well, I'm in a fortified position. Oh, or they're not. <laughs> okay, so they moved up to me to only start taking attrition. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to start actually dealing with that right now. Um, trade with Croatia. Yes. I'm glad I traded with you. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to do that fight just right now, at least, because of the fact, like, hey, we're really close to being done with for today. But uh, basically, next video, we will start this war with the uh, Holy Roman Empire. And I'm going to make them a vassal. I'm going to make them into a new vassal. To your people and prepare them for death. That is now your only... <sighs> I'm not gonna have my allies join on in. It should be fine. I've got a big army over here. If you guys decide to attack me, you can. I'm I'm specifically building those areas up to be defensive. So we should be fine. I just need we need more crusades. Hey, and if anything, I'm now way closer to the crusading targets whenever we have them. So that'll be perfect. Let's see, so you guys here. Got a population surplus here. Oh, this will be the last one for you guys. So this is the last one we want to do for you guys and actually make it so you also have Fuck what because Got you. Got you. I don't need to put the armory in here, because I can have that over here. Um, oh, no, we need to get the woodcutter. Yeah, the woodcutter is going to be the last thing we put on in here. So, let's do that. I'm going back over here. Let's make sure we move, use my money in these areas before I forget. So, grab that. You don't have a lot of money. So, let's just grab the bakery for right now, because it doesn't use up food. Grab that, and then... You guys are doing better. Keep upgrading this stuff. Oh, actually, wait. We're off on that. I want to see if there's anything I want to grade around Trebizond first. No, it's basically just going to be the same thing. But basically, I know we'll keep trying to upgrade the town barracks because that uses food, but not that badly. But yeah. Um, you guys are at war. Interesting. But yeah, no, you guys are now at war, and then I'm joining on in. I'm glad they didn't attack me, so they actually just took attrition just standing here. Yes, yeah, so they took a little bit of damage. I wonder, actually... Do I have money right now? I have uh, a little bit more money. Hey, uh... Hey, guys. Oh, you don't like me right now. It's improving. Hey, uh, can I ask you to... Join the war against these guys? I'll try and offer all my money. If you guys don't want to accept it, we won't ask you to join, but... Yeah, no, you're not going to. That's fine. Cause I've got my other army around over here too, so we can we can push forward. So like I can bring you up here, and technically, yeah, I think we're basically gonna leave off here, cause I should be able to have it. So you, if I do a fight right here, if I attack this little army, I get my big about the other force in his reinforcements. Then they run like bitches. I guess I'm still running. But now I don't get my reinforcements. But I don't want to attack you just yet there. So we're just going to sit here, I guess. So it'll be next video. We're going to start trying to push on in here now with these two armies that we've got. Basically, if we wait until next turn, I can probably just attack the city and just like lure you guys all off. But I think my two armies should be fine. Because look at the state of these armies. These things are horrible. Look at the morale is so bad. Yeah, I, I should be fine. I should be fine there. But I will be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. And if that's how I'm in general, it's Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. Because look at the state of these armies. These things are horrible.